So I've had a chance and opportunity to work with John on countless community projects, and uh, he is without a doubt one of the strongest, most creative, most amazing civic leaders that I've ever had an opportunity to work with. You know, John, uh, he invests in people. I think he really uh, has a good eye for recognizing talent in people and then creating opportunities for that talent to find a way to bloom. I'm a Milwaukee kid. Uh, and I always tell people that my story is that I uh, started school at a segregated school in Birmingham, Alabama and finished at Harvard Law School. So I've seen a lot of changes uh, in the world uh, and it's also introduced me to a lot of different people uh, who have impact on the lives of others. But more importantly, what it's instilled in me is a notion that if you really want to uh, change something, you can, you just have to individually uh, be willing to get your uh, little dirt under your fingernails and uh, keep pushing. I've heard him tell stories before about when he was a young man in Milwaukee and there were several corporate leaders that got together and selected basically five African-American young men to get behind and help promote, support, and mentor and the difference that made to him in his life. And that's really sort of the basis of Milwaukee Fellows when you think about it. The education is certainly core to it, but that mentorship, that connection, he goes so beyond uh, you know, the, the norm for, to make this work. There are two or three projects that stand out, one of which is the MKE Fellows, which was an outgrowth of an initiative called the Wisconsin Scholars. And John's vision really was to uh, help Wisconsin and Milwaukee specifically uh, college kids, young African-American men, uh, help them get to college, and then more importantly, create the kind of opportunities for them and around them that they would want to come back to Milwaukee and stay. He has this uncanny ability to recognize where talent is and where resources are and to bring them all together for uh, a terrific outcome. And he likes to quote someone that says, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go with other people. And he really is someone who's all about going the distance. And to do that, he knows he's got to bring the right partners to the table to help something be successful. Well, I think the, uh, the thing that I'm most proud of uh, is the fact that I have had the uh, opportunity to deal with people of all different backgrounds and to have an understanding uh, that you know, there's a lot more uh, in common with people uh, than is different. But also, I've had the ability to acknowledge that to face challenges, you can't soft pedal it. You gotta really be willing to stand up sometime and say, here's something that we need to fix. Which is why I'm so uh, passionate about the MKE Fellows. Sometimes people get stuck. They get stuck in their own belief systems, uh, in their own shortcomings. And, uh, and John, in his very gracious way, can give a little shove from behind to make sure that you get over that hump and that this continues to move forward uh, for the betterment of Milwaukee and the betterment of all. He's not a guy who just writes a check and says somebody else ought to solve this. He's the guy who rolls up his sleeves and gets his hands deep down into the work. And I very often, when I look at community initiatives, I can just see John's fingerprints all over it. He's been just an amazing civic leader, and this community is eminently better off uh, because of John Daniels and his leadership. I think uh, uh, giving is sort of uh, evolving to the point where it's not just giving of your financial resources, which is really important, uh, but it's also important uh, to be willing uh, to give of your time uh, and your energy and your views around how to make our community a better place for everyone.